Hey, today I am going to be revising for you a book with quite a long title, OCD, Tools to Help You Fight Back, a CBT workbook for young people. Quite a mouthful. Now, this book is a, like accompanying workbook that goes with a clinical guide. I don't have the clinical guide, but actually I think that this uh, on its own is already quite good if you're someone who's like relatively uh, familiar with this stuff. Um, but if not, you might want to get both. So what is this? This is a book by the team at the Maudsley who support children and young people with OCD. So that's obsessive compulsive disorder. Now, the first thing I need to say is I've worked with these guys in the past. They were incredibly kind and helpful. And many years ago when I was doing my PhD, they allowed me to come and shadow the work that they were doing at the Michael Rutter Center. And they were doing great stuff. And I didn't know much about OCD before I worked with them. Um, but what I learned from them was that this is a condition that can really like overtake young people's lives or anyone's lives. Um, and it feels completely out of control and it feels impossible to do anything about. But it's super, super treatable. Now, the guys at the Maudsley have spent a long time developing strategies that really, really work. So they've got really good evidence base for what they know works. And they have a program that they work through uh, with children in young people with OCD, they know it works, and so they've basically kind of manualized it. And this is kind of the, the manual, the worksheets that, that go with this process. Okay, so to share a little bit of information from the back about who the authors are, so you can see. So the um, so yeah, Chloe Voltz was the first one who talked to me about OCD and got me to learn a bit more about it because I had done some work at her child's school around self-harm and eating disorders and she said, I'd like you to work on OCD too. So thank you to Chloe for first introducing me to the world of OCD some time ago. So they're a great team. Uh, you can see they've got loads of experience. Yeah, um, and yeah, just in case you don't know all the acronyms, so BDD um, stands for Body Dysmorphic Disorder. Um, so that's people who perceive their body incorrectly and that's really distressing for them. So they might, for example, like have uh, a kind of obsessions around like being like having a really ugly nose or really horrible hands. Or quite often we see it in eating disorders where people will see themselves um, as grotesquely fat, even if they're really underweight, for example. So that's what BDD stands for. OK, enough wittering pookie. So let's have a look at the contents first. So you can have a look and see kind of what happens here. So I'll show the contents pages here. So you can see that it goes through kind of session by session. And at the beginning, you're kind of developing the understanding and skills. And then there are sessions in the future where you're like using uh, ER P, which is exposure and response prevention, which is like the key technique to actually overcome um, the obsessions and compulsions. So um, it does become like repetitive, but in a good way, because you're kind of establishing uh, and reinforcing those skills and tackling more behaviours. OK, so let's have a look at some of the pages to give you a feel uh, for what it's like. So I'm going to first go to page 33 and 34. OK, so let's have a look now at pages 32 and 33. I'm going to look at them in the reverse order, weirdly, uh, just in order to help explain. So you can see um, on page 33 that we're thinking about how we break the OCD cycle. This gives you a good idea about like the style of the book. This is what the illustrations kind of look like. Um, and there's this this kind of uniform style throughout, which is great. Um, so you can see here we're thinking about that cycle of OCD and the fact that we want to break uh, that cycle uh, by controlling the, the compulsions, the behaviours. Um, and then um, there is on page 32 a blank one that you can use to work through an example um, of your own OCD so use that with the child in order to outline um, you know one of their behaviors and we would then think about what's the compulsion here that we're trying to get rid of so that gives you an example of the, the kind of exercises that you'd be doing in the earlier sessions and what it kind of looks like Okay, and then we're going to look next at 40, page 47, which is fighting back using ERP to beat OCD. So ERP is exposure and response prevention. Um, and here we go through this kind of 10 step process that we do again and again and again um, throughout the course of this book um, in order to try um, and beat those compulsions essentially. So you can get an idea here about the kind of process that you're going through many, many, many times. And this comes up again and again and again. This is kind of the, the key component really um, of the, the, the workbook. Okay, um, and then I'm going to show you page 114, um, which is, um, I wanted to show you because there's kind of these tools for fighting OCD, and this is one of them. Um, and here we're thinking about intrusive thoughts, um, and then there are um, some exercises where we think about um, our intrusive thoughts. Um, on the following pages, we think, as well as the positive intrusive thoughts, we think about neutral ones and negative ones, um, and it goes on to explain a bit more. So uh, just to kind of give you an idea about, you know, again, some of the sort of background and the information understanding that you would be 
be building uh, with a child if you were to use the uh, workbook. So yeah, so as I said, this is the workbook. It goes alongside the clinical um, manual, which I, I don't have because I didn't realise it existed, so I didn't ask for a copy, sorry. Um, if you'd particularly like me to review that, then do leave a comment below and I will endeavour to do so in a future video, but I don't have it right now. And I thought the workbook um, is relatively self-explanatory and stands quite well alone as long as you've got a fairly decent understanding of OCD to start with. But I really like that it was really practical, it gives you a really clear framework for supporting a child um, through overcoming their OCD. Um, and I think it's nice because it's really skills building and so it will provide kids with the skills and the understanding they need in order to continue to uh, tackle their OCD um, as well. So yeah, I, I like it and I can imagine lots of you um, would find that this would fit really neatly and easily uh, into your practice. Okay, the three things I most liked about this book. One is there's a whole ton of space, so you can write all over it. Kid can make it completely their own, the workbook. Um, it's great. I love books that you can write in. I know not everyone does, but I do, and I like it a lot. Um, okay, number two is that it is based on a lot of of research, um, clinical evidence and stuff. So it's there's science, but it's really clear and simple to use. So it's not overwhelming in any way. So even though there's like loads and loads of stuff behind it, what you're actually presented with is something that's really simple and super usable, which I think is great. Um, and number three is that I like the fact that you are encouraged to repeat tasks and you go back doing the same things again and again, which I think would provide like this sense of familiarity and make it easier to engage and make the sessions work really well with a child or young person. And I think it would also make it much more likely that they're able to continue uh, to use those skills and engage with those ideas and ways of addressing their thinking after the session as well. So there's not like tons and tons of new ideas and information all the time. There's lots of reinforcing um, of the skills that have been learned and revisiting them and trying them again with new behaviours and so on and so forth. So yes, would I recommend it? Yes, I would if you are supporting children, young people uh, with OCD. Uh, really, really uh, neat uh, and clearly has had a huge amount of uh, work behind it, has been shown to work um, and the hard work's been done for you really. So um, yeah, great, a great resource I think to add to your toolbox. Um, I hope you found the video helpful. Do let me know if there are uh, books or other resources that you would like me to review in future videos. Leave a comment with your suggestions and uh, I hope to see you next next time. Do subscribe and you will be kept updated with my new videos that come out on a Tuesday and a Friday. Okay, take care. Goodbye.